In this video, I am going to tell you about how to prepare the network theory subject for gate exam. Now, or you can say how to score maximum marks in network theory. So, if you see marks wise performance in gate 2016, in set 1, 5 marks, set 3, 8 marks, set 4, 7 marks. The questions came from this network theory. But if you see gate 2015, uh, set 1 10, set 2 9, set 3 7 marks. Right? So uh, here we can say the average marks is 6 marks. Or uh, why it is reduced is see in the you know the, the subject is they included as network theory and signal sense systems are included. So if we are getting less marks in here, so we will get more marks in signal sense system, right? But averagely you can get 6 to 8 marks in each subject. So total for a network theory and signal systems, we can get approximately 15 to 16 marks. So here is if we are getting average 6, there we will get 10 marks. If there we are getting 6 marks, we will get in the network theory 10 marks. Right? Now, how to prepare? See, if you see the syllabus, so here it includes first the... the the introduction we can say network solution method that is how to find different different currents or voltages that is one method analysis nodal analysis and a mesh analysis and there is some uh, transformations so that is star to delta or delta to star conversions now so everyone everyone should start with the basics only so my first topic should be nodal analysis mesh analysis and uh, finding the R equivalents or C equivalents or L equivalents right so there is a question from this 100% sure from this uh, what is the first uh, network solution methods so we may get find R equivalent between A, B, A and B points or some find I1 in some branch or find power in uh, some branch find power and uh, there is a star star network is given in delta network is given some myth missing is there find R A etc. So there is a uh, pakka question from this the network solution methods that is the you can see introduction of the network theory subject. Next uh, the, we have to study the theorems right. There is no question paper without this theorem uh, question. Right, it may be maximum power th transfer theorem, it may be superposition, it may be Thevenin's theorem. So generally, they will not ask about uh, find uh, the current using superposition theorem. Generally, they will ask what is a VTH or what is a R Thevenin, or sometimes what is the ma maximum power transfer theorem. Maximum the from these two concepts only, we will get so many find maximum power P max or find to deliver maximum power what is RL or RS. R, T, H, etc. Right? So there is no paper without this, th this theorem uh, concept. Now next one is the two port networks or we can say two port parameters. So the, again same, 100% sure from this topic that is uh, like Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters, then uh, transmission parameters. Right, what are the condition for reciprocal or uh, symmetry then find some different parameters right there is no uh, paper without the two port parameters uh, concept next uh, topic is what is a transient analysis right so what is a transient analysis is <coughs> the r l and c will uh, so l and c will doesn't out uh, sudden changes in the network so so that may be RC network, RL network, and RLC network, series RL, parallel RL, uh, series RLC, parallel RLC, what is the I of 0 minus and I of 0 plus, something like the questions will come, VC of T, find the uh, capacitor voltage for T greater than 0, etc. These type of questions will come, right? So there is a pakka question from the transient analysis. Generally in the transient analysis we may get 2 to 3 marks. There is no doubt. Right. And the 2 port networks 1 to 2 marks. Pakka question. Network theorem same 1 to 2 marks questions. 
so from this we will get 2 to 3 marks etc right so if you prepare these four concepts suppose so f by i mean also it's now number of 15 so we will have only two months gap so if someone is not started at the network theory so they can start for the four the four concepts right then one next uh, my preference we will go the laplace transform so different uh, circuit is given find the response so we can use directly laplace transform if rlc given some sinusoidal signal is given then laplace transform is very easy right next uh, the driving point on transfer functions rarely will come but the next topic we can go the steady state steady state sinusoidal analysis using phasers so this concept also very easy is how to replace the inductor or capacitor with phasor form that is suppose if l is there we can have to replace by j omega l because sinusoidal law voltage if v of t is given as sin 20 t etc right we can find the current or voltage etc the next to the last topic we can go is the resonance resonance concept sometimes uh, uh, people will think this somewhat difficult or resonance concept but if we do more practice here also we will get the marks like a uh, one to two marks pakka question <coughs> sensual solid state same one to two marks laplace transform is generally not laplace transform you can apply any some question is given and some sinusoidal signal is given so we can apply laplace transform concept so generally this is not a different concept right so so the first my session is first to study these four concepts pakka right and get some kind of, then next three concepts we have we have to study so not this three these two so again so this is my strategy now what are what book, books we need to follow is the, for the concepts wise there is no doubt the network analysis by M. E. Val Van Valkenburg so in this book so he has given so many concepts you can we can easily under, understand then we will do some problems right then we get more confidence on these concepts next one for more problems I will suggest the network analysis by H. Hat and Kimmerly. So in this book, we will get more number of problems for each concept. So, so my suggestion is, so read the concepts and some problems, then do more problems from this book, then build some concept, more concept, right? Now, <clears throat> again, if you follow this uh, uh, criteria and if you spare seven days seven days or we can uh, go for five days also but seven days is sufficient for the network theory preparation so seven days and my solution is each suppose there is a network uh, analysis network solution methods so you have to do hundred number of problems right then only we can do in the gate right so they will give you some different type problems then similarly for network theorem 100 two port networks it's not necessary so you can go up to 50 varieties of problems then transient analysis again we have to do 100 rlc circuits so approximately 25 study state 25 then etc so at least it's not about exam we have to do more so that is my i have given some number but you can do more or you can do less also but sufficient practice is necessary so in these seven days right so do the practice of network solution method network theorems some so each day go for only network solution methods then network theorems then net two port networks transient analysis rlc seven days is a maximum but i can uh, sure we can finish in five days also right so if you do like this i am sure you will get 80 to 90 percent of the marks from this network theory Suppose he has given for uh, 7 marks or uh, 8 marks, so I, I am sure you will get 5 to 6 marks, etc. Right? So, that is about the network theory subject for gate exam. So, I will show the, some examples also in the network theory 
what are what type of problems we will get generally see this is the gate 2016 so this is by using the methods only the solutions will get here is by applying some nodal analysis or mesh analysis similarly this one also we can see in the circuit shown in max the magnitude of the current through r2 so what is the current in this r2 so again nodal analysis see this type of problem will come by finding the r equivalent so this type of problems will come next so from the theorem solving we can get uh, generally will get find the maximum power right network theorems this the previous question paper if you see see this is the about maximum power same see see maximum power only next this is about thevenin's theorem then norton's theorem so there is no question paper without these theorems right and similarly two four parameters also transient analysis also right so so prepare as uh, you can prepare from the uh, previous question papers also so take from the network solution methods do what are the problems you can approximately 60 to 70 problems are given do those problems and you have to maintain on book copy